you guys, guess where I am? Okay, you already know by the title I'm at home goods. <laughs> I have a few things on my list that I'm hoping to actually grab today. Last time that I was here is around the Christmas season and everything seemed to be sold out. So we're gonna head on in there and I'm excited to see what we find. I'll be showing you guys all around the store. Before we head in, make sure you comment down below. What was your top thing that you've ever found at home goods? I feel like you can score some pretty good deals here. I don't know why this pillow caught my eye, but it's the first thing I saw when I walked in. I just love all the different textures on it. This coral color is like really speaking to me, but I feel like this would be super cute for spring. It's a really long throw pillow that you throw like in the middle of a big couch or right on your bed. $24.99. Look at these cute little clear bar stools. Obviously, if you have kids, <laughs> these probably won't work. They'd be great for wiping down, but I feel like with kids, you probably need a back on them. But they're $129 a piece. And they're like those perfect little ghost bar stools that you don't really see. And then you pull them out and they're just like a perfect addition to your little like bar. They have it set up a little bit differently in here than they did the last time I was in here, but they have a ton of farmhouse stuff right now. So if you're looking for like some old like reclaimed wood or something like that, they have tons of pieces here. Like these church pane um, ones that would look super cute for like an accent wall. These guys are $20 a piece. And then they have some bigger ones right next door as well. This set right here is actually kind of really cool. It's actually a three piece set. So you get the two bar stools and you get the little table up here. And it looks like this guy right here. So it would be like flush up against a wall really well. You get the three pieces for $249.99. Can you imagine if it was only $24, I'd be picking it up. Um, but that's really not bad for two bar stools and a little table. I love the finish on this one and how it's kind of got this like raw edge a little bit, but it is finished. So so it's not like pokey or anything. And then the bar stools are kind of the same way with that raw edge. You guys know Easter and spring are right around the corner. So of course they've got some little wreaths down there. They have these really cute little baskets. If you're doing this kind of like pastel for Easter, that would be super cute on your door. These guys are $17 a piece. I love these little, <laughs> Hello. I love these little bunnies back here that are little ferns. I think those are cute and they would look super cute on a little bookshelf or a styling shelf. So 15 bucks for those three. They're so cute. I was talking last time about how I really wanted to get Logan a baby doll just to kind of like show him, you know, what a baby would look like. Obviously this is much smaller than a real baby, but everything like their toys, they're all going on clearance right now because it's after Christmas. So this one's kind of cute. I feel like, and not as super creepy. So I actually might pick it up for him for six bucks and see if he likes it. They also have have this one right here it's called baby stella i've actually seen these and it's like all cloth it's like a softer toy obviously this guy is on clearance for 13 dollars. these chairs right here are so cool the backs on them are fairly high i'd say but they're 79.99 a piece and i just i don't know i love this color wood with the um, metal base i think they're really nice they have that like cross in the back and they have six of them here which is always a score like whenever you're looking for like a table or something and you can find it at home goods with a bunch of them in stock right down here i'm in like the cooking section like the pans and pots and pans and stuff like that i have been looking forever for new pots and pans because ours are chips Thing, and their Teflon, which is not a good thing. They have this huge all clad non-stick 10 piece set for 250. Just wanted to point that out. We are not doing non-stick anymore. At least I'm trying to get away from that. But I also saw they have this huge, I think it's a 12 inch lodge cast iron skillet. So I think I'm gonna pick it up. It's $15. I'm gonna figure out how to use it. As far as the handle, I was hoping to get one that had like a non heat handle, but you can also order like a silicone grip on Amazon. I just checked for like five bucks to go over this so that it's not hot when you touch it. Look at this cute little Valentine's Day section. I love these baking cups. Those are adorable. You get 50 of them for $3.99. They have some really cute ones with like gold foiling right behind them as well. Oh, these are so cute. I've got all these cute little baker sets. So if you're kiddos and you like to cook, I feel like this would be a cute thing to surprise them with one day to do like an activity at home. This is a three piece set. You get the brownie pan, Ooh. the spatula and the spoon for 10 bucks. I actually think this is really cute. I love the cool gray like clay with the gold foiling writing on there. This is a utensil holder, $7.99. It's pretty heavy duty. It's really cute. I just happened to see this sitting back here. <laughs> if you know what this is from, comment down below. It's like a big cookie jar, 20 bucks. Ah, might be worth it. So I'm currently looking for like a set of bowls, but I'm looking for something that's not breakable, like something I can give to Logan or put them out a drawer, like down low on his level where he can pick out a bowl and then get himself a snack. So far I'm not finding any that aren't breakable, but still on the hunt. 
just as I said, I couldn't find any. These ones are made out of bamboo, which is exactly actually what I was looking for. Either bamboo or wood or something like that. They have some different colors and stuff down here. I don't really want blue and I don't want this flamingo print, although those would be a better size. I do like the color of this. It's like an oatmeal, $10 for four bowls, but they're kind of big, but they are shallow. I don't know. We'll throw them in the cart for now and I'll think about them in case we don't come up upon anything else, but it would be a good option, I think. It just might be too big. They have a lot of these coffee table books out, which I am kind of loving and I love the colors that they have out. I actually think these two, the blue and the hot pink, would look really cute together on your coffee table. This one's really cute too. Oh, love that one. That one's Find Your Path by Carrie Underwood. They've got decorating with plants. Those two look very cute together. And I love, they have this big Chanel, the woman who reads coffee table book as well. We don't have a coffee table or I'd be decorating it with these books because I feel like there's a lot of potential right in this little section. I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel are either new moms or you're about to be a new mom. This is actually where I ended up getting my boppy last time and I just kept it. So we're just gonna use that same one. But this one has like a really cute slip cover over it with these flowers. So if you're having a girl or maybe this goes with your home, it's $25 here, which I believe you do save like a couple of bucks buying it here. That's why I ended up buying it here. They also have this cute little fuzzy pink llama one. If you know anything about diaper bags, it's kind of crazy that I just found this. This is a Petunia Pickle Bottom diaper bag. I'm like shocked that I just found this here. Removable bottle holder and changing pad. You get a diaper bag, changing pad, bottle holder, packing cube, and stroller clips. If you're looking for like a real heavy duty diaper bag, Petunia Pickle Bottom is a really well known brand for that. But I actually don't really mind the look of this one. Sometimes I don't really love the look of diaper bags. This one's cute and it's machine washable, which is great. I don't know, I might hang on to this and see. I might need to try it on in like a mirror or something, but the inside is super cute too. And I love the gold on the zippers. Also, it's only $40. What? So I picked a few things up that I just want to show really quickly. So this little basket is actually on clearance. It's from UGG. I was looking for a little basket in order to put Logan's toy balls in, like basketballs and soccer balls and things like that, because right now they're just kind of floating around the toy area. And I don't love that. I love the small size of this basket and I love the look of it. It's very like California, which is kind of what I'm going for in my new style. But... <laughs> It's still $50. So to me, that's like really expensive for a woven basket like this. And I think it's just because it has the UGG name on it, which is so silly to me. So I'm gonna pass on this guy, but I love the style of it. So I wanted to show you, they have so many good things on clearance right now. I'm actually shocked. I also found this picture frame and I was like, ah, oh, I think I have to. I don't know. I just love the pattern that it brings. Obviously I love leopard, eight bucks. And I've never seen one like this. It's actually tiled. I don't know if you can see that. It's a really cool picture frame. It actually is supposed to sit like this, but you can really sit it either way that you want. And I think this would be like, if we're going with like that woven basket look, I feel like it could be a pop of neutral print that might go good in a new home. I don't know. I don't know. Still thinking on this one. Still thinking on the bowls as well. Haven't decided on those guys, but I found this duvet cover. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you've seen the headboard that we have. It's a really warm brown. And usually I would not mix warm and cool tones, but I actually think this might bring a little bit of freshness to the space. It's like a very, very light cool gray in between and then this is more of like a white it's got like light gray stitched throughout but it's more white so anyways i think that could be a really pretty duvet cover this is kind of what it looks like on the picture right here this one is a king duvet 50 bucks for the duvet and the two shams which is not a bad deal at all also my hack is that we have a queen size bed but we always get a size bigger with anything except for sheets and that way you have enough blanket to go around for everybody but if you look at the duvet cover with the basket here, I feel like that shows you like the new vibe that I'm kind of going for. And I think it really goes well together. But then I also picked up, I'm not getting this one. If it was in a duvet cover, I'd get it. But this is just like a little quilt, like a coverlet. But I think I love the pattern. I love the leopard pattern, obviously, but I love that it's like beige and kind of muted a little bit. It's a really, really nice quality. $39.99 and this one is a queen size. So glad I came back over here. I almost forgot to show you these. They have these macrame swings in right now. I've never seen them have these, but it's got the wooden seat and then it actually has a back 
to the swing and then you can see it's like tethered here and then you would hang it to the ceiling. I actually don't think you're supposed to sit like a human on it, but you could sit like some plants or some decor on it. So if you're into macrame, we have quite a few of those guys here for around 40 bucks. I saw this rug that somebody else pulled out and I don't really love the pattern, but I do love this like burnt orange, but just a little brighter than burnt orange color. In case you're looking for one just like this, 7.9 by 9.9, $300. But I kind of love that orange to bring like some kind of color into your home and brightness. I think that would look really nice. So this is not my exact style, but I actually think these are kind of fun statement pieces. So if you're looking for these, these are a little swivel chair. They are $300 a piece. And actually they seem really nicely made. I love like the pattern. I just think the color is too pink for our home. But if you're going for more like an Australian boho vibe, that would totally go with it. They have the second matching one over here as well. And then right in the middle, they have this huge TV console, 800 bucks for this guy. And it looks like, yep, the doors slide. The only thing I dislike about that is that you always have to have one open. <laughs> so I think that looks a little bit funky. Even if you had like the middle one open and it looked, I feel like you'd always have to keep it clean. So I would prefer to see three doors on something like that. I just came across this little bench right down here, 150, but I love the linen looking pattern on top. I don't think it's actually linen, but this would look really cute at the bottom of a bed, which is kind of how we have one styled in our house. The only thing is that this wood looks a little bit fake, but I really love the top of it. I love this gold lamp. Gold base is just so slim and sleek on it. This is by the brand Tahari, $70, which is a little bit pricey for a lamp, but lamps can get even way pricier than that. This is like a really well-made quality one too a bright white lamp shade on it. I love the look of it. With kids though, this would be crazy dirty in just like a hot second, but I love the look of it all together. I feel like that's a little bit more towards like what I'm going for. I actually really like this mirror at the weathered wood. It is like a light gray. I was gonna say weathered gray, but $70 for this guy, pretty big, 24 by 58. So anyways, that would be a super cute mirror, but I wanted to also show you what the backpack looks like on. It's really hard to see because I don't have any of my own stuff in it so it's not weighed down it's very light right now it just has like whatever it comes with inside of it which is a lot of organizational stuff but i wanted to show you because i feel like it doesn't look like a crazy real diapery diaper bag and i like that so i think i'm actually going to try it out and i love that it just has a little bit more space because with two kiddos i'm definitely going to need a little bit more space but i've been wearing it around a little bit and it doesn't feel massively big on my back I think we're gonna try it and see how it goes and I'll let you guys know how I like it. But baby girl likes shopping. She's been kicking the whole time. So that's definitely my girl. <laughs> Again, with statement chairs, I feel like they're kind of making a comeback. I feel like they were really big several years ago and then everybody kind of got rid of them. But I love this houndstooth pattern and it's like a neutral color. I feel like it goes great with golds and grays. It could really pull out whatever you're putting it next to. So like if you put it next to gold, it would pull more warm tones. If you put it next to something really cool gray, I bet it would pull a little bit more cool, but it's on clearance, regularly 300 down to 250. I love the shape of it too. Also love this blue. I've always loved blue, but for some reason it's never really been my accent color. Maybe I'll try and incorporate more of that, but I kind of love how it has just like a slight pattern on it. it. Gives it a little bit of texture, but the blue is just gorgeous. So $300 for that guy. And it looks really nice. I love the cover at the bottom too. I think that's really modern and classy. If you are needing like a smaller couch, let's say you have a smaller living room or maybe like a little media room or you're going to college and you could put this in like your main living area space, they have a few smaller couches here so i would definitely at least look and see just for inspiration but some of them look really really nice and sometimes the furniture here at home goods is complete crap so make sure you do your research but 400 bucks that is not terrible and it has usb plugins which is kind of cool and it comes with the two toss pillows on top too which you can always change out of course if you need a large metal bath to bathe in home goods is definitely your place look at that Looks so sanitary and clean. I can't wait to jump in. If you guys decorate for St. Patrick's Day, which I think is so fun and you have way more energy than I do, I love this little throw pillow right in front. Luck of the Irish, but I love how it's almost like a banner. These don't come off. They're completely sewn on, but it's got some nice more muted colors rather than it being like crazy green in case that's what you're looking for, but 20 bucks. This one's cute though. 
I love these little throws right here. I, I don't know, I think I just really like the texture that it has. It gives me like a very beachy vibe, which again is kind of what I'm going for. Love the tassels on the bottom that are kind of just frayed out. They're not real tied into tassels. I don't know, it just kind of gives it an undone look. I do love the beige right here. These are $24.99 and they are 50 by 70. So a typical throw size. We don't ever really cuddle up with throws. I usually just use them as decor pieces, but I do actually really love this like light. It's almost between like a light gray and a light blue. And you can kind of see the color better down here when it's next to its tassels, but really pretty. Again, same price. It's made by the same people. I also have this really cute striped one. I'm loving this crepey type of uh, blanket, like type of texture. This guy just has like some raw edges on the side, which is actually very cute. I love that. And on the bottom, it's more like a gray raw edge. How much is this guy? This guy doesn't have a price, so apparently it's free. I did not realize these types of pillows were still popular. Did anybody else have one of these in their room? Also love the texture of this throw right here. I do wish it was backed. I thought it was, but as I pick it up, I'm realizing it's like a little bit see-through once you unfold it, but still very pretty, $24.99. And I do really like this kind of like sweater knit and how it's hem on it. I think that could be a little bit beachy too. I wanted to show you this little piece that they put together. I actually really like all of the pieces together, not the black thing though. I personally don't think that goes very well but i do love this chair i love the wooden legs on the bottom and just that like faux linen look because i don't think this is actually linen definitely an accent chair not maybe a chair you'd sit in all the time but could if you wanted to 300 dollars for this chair i think most of their chairs are going for around 300 right now i do like the lamp above it though i think that's really cool with the curve and it's kind of like it's gold but it's not like a yellow gold it's a very muted gold so 79 bucks for that floor lamp which if you've ever shopped for floor lamps you know that's a very good price for a floor lamp the painting in the back is also gorgeous with the blues and the golds that it has in it as well that guy's 200 dollars, and i don't know if you can even tell how big it is it doesn't even have a size on it it's massive let me show you what i'm gonna go home with i actually think i'm gonna skip this duvet set and it's just because derek has not said if he likes it or not but i'll come back i've seen this one here so many times before we're trying not to overspend here i love these bowls i really love the color of them i just wish they were smaller so they're not quite right for what i'm needing so i'm gonna pass on these guys this is how i really keep a lot of clutter out of my home if it's literally not exactly perfect for the space it's done even if it's almost there i don't want to clutter my space with stuff that i don't absolutely love so these guys are staying here. I'm going to bring home this cast iron pan. See how it does. I, it's definitely going to be a learning process. That's for sure. This guy's 15 bucks. I'm also going to bring home this bath book for Logan. He loves the bath and loves ducks. That's like one of the words that he says right now. And he loves it. And I do like that this little duck does. Oh, it does have a little hole on it. I'll have to make sure I cover that with like hot glue or something. So mold doesn't get in there, but it was on clearance for four bucks. So I figured let's just try and see if he likes the little bath book. I am of course getting the pups a little toy. Cole actually had this one when he was just a tiny little baby. So I had to grab it. It's only $3.99. I'm also gonna grab this Petunia Pickle Bottom diaper bag right here. I'm really excited about this one. It does come with a couple of inserts in there, but hopefully it goes well. And then I'll return it if it's not quite right with all my stuff in it at home, but I wanted to be able to try it at home too. And then I'm gonna grab this little book for Logan. It's really cute. It says, I love you through and through, $5.99 and it's like a little bit of thicker pages, but it's almost moving towards the thinner pages. So it's kind of like an in-between board book. I love your happy side and your sad side. Like it just goes through the whole book like that. And I think it's really cute. So this is what we're going home with today. All right, you guys, I spent about $70 in there. It was like 69 something, which is awesome. That Petunia Pickle Bottom bag retails for more than that originally. So I got that bag and some toys and a new cast iron pan. That's why I love home goods because you get all this stuff brand new for like way cheaper. How can you beat it? So leave down in the comments where I should shop next. I'm kind of thinking TJ Maxx because they have a lot of cute girl clothes. Y'all know we're shopping for baby girls. So let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.